realized I am simultaneously filming three videos in the span of one to two hours. So if you see this fit across the next few videos from this Sunday, my next comp vid, and then the one after, that is why. So I'm hoping you can't hear the noise across the hall. There is a, another studio next door who is quite loud and they seem to be having a bit of a party. So after the last video I did with a similar setup, um, not with the girls, my poll update progress video, I definitely got a few uh, DMs and I got a lot of questions about, you know, the first time I ever did poll. I just wanted to kind of give my take and my tips and tricks for basically what to expect in a first pole dancing class. So let's get into it. I'm gonna start from the very, very beginning. So the first thing I kinda wanna go over is the introductory to the instructor and the warm up. Usually um, you'll pick a pole, it doesn't matter what pole. I know, <laughs> I know at some studios, girls have like a specific pole. I know at my studio, I usually go for the corner pole. I don't know why, maybe it's just like a comfort thing. Definitely a tip is to mix it up, especially if there's um, a mix of different types of poles. I am much stickier and like I grip a lot easier with brass compared to stainless or chrome. So basically your instructor will say hi, my name is Chloe, I'm your instructor for today. Might give like a fun fact about themselves. We're gonna go into what the class is, just like a rough summary of what you're gonna be doing today. Especially they might ask what injuries you might have or if you've done pole before. Um, yeah, there's like a couple things they might ask, maybe just making conversation, depending on their teaching style. They might be huge energy. I'm more of an introvert, so <laughs> I tend to go with the more down to earth, more like chilled, like we are talking right now, and then we'll get into a warm up. You'll have a warm up that is a mix of strength, cardio, and strengthening, and your conditioning is usually thrown in with your warm up. So your warm up might start off the pole, um, you know basically like a head to toe warm up, making sure that, you know, we're warming up all the right things, like hammies. I don't think a lot of people realize that when you warm up, you do actually, or majority of teachers, I'm not gonna say all. They're having a party over there. I would say majority of teachers do a cardio and then they usually do like some form of pole stretching. They'll, like, they'll always explain if you're, ever unsure, especially conditioning, a lot of the time they will explain. You're doing your cardio, you're feeling warm, usually they will, you know, instruct and explain what exactly they're warming up and why. Because at the end of the day, like pole is a full body workout. So I think, yeah, a tip is going into it thinking that you are going to be doing a full body workout. Not to scare you because it's not scary. I know a lot of people might be nervous. I certainly was nervous going into my first I was so nervous and I knew no one. <laughs> we've done our cardio, we've done our, you know, stretching, strengthening, conditioning. Your instructor will then instruct you to either put on shoes or go barefoot and grip up, basically. My controversial opinion is that I am very thankful that I bought boots and I literally got them off Facebook Marketplace because I didn't want to spend you know, hundreds of dollars on my first pair of boots. I bought them for like, I think they were $50. I believe that when you start, if you're going to, only if you're going to go consistently, buy boots because they help strengthen. And like also, it's like, <laughs> what can I compare them to? It's like if you go to the gym and you're wearing ankle weights. The only thing that can be bad with them is relying on their grip. Um, but in saying that, when I realized that I was relying on them for their grip, I started consistently training barefoot, which I love now. But, oh my God, like everything was easier. <laughs> I think it definitely helped because, oh my God, when I took them off, I was flying around the pole. <laughs> Different grips, usually, if you ask your studio, they should have little testers um, that you can try to find the right grip for you. Or you can even ask if there is other beginners that have been there for a couple classes. Ask them, I know it might be a little bit daunting talking to new people, 
but if you ask them, maybe they have an idea of like, or maybe they're similar skin type to you. I just feel like talking to different people, especially your instructor, to get like a rough idea on what grips can be like. But then again, just test them as well. So you've done your warm up, you've done your conditioning, you've done your gripping up, you've done your putting on boots if you have them. If not, no stress. And then we're getting to tricks. So in terms of introduction, introductory oh my glitch <laughs> in terms of what you will be learning there's usually introductory walks turns spins that you will learn in pole basically the foundations it's nothing scary you're not going to be flipping upside down the first time you try a class i don't know if you're game enough try a private with an instructor and they will be able to test your abilities there and they can make adjustments depending on how you're going I'm so sorry if this music is louder than my voice. I know some instructors kind of go through the equipment, like the pole itself. I just want to put something out there. If you're plus size, please don't worry about breaking the pole. I've talked to so many people and it honestly breaks my heart that they think they are too heavy to jump on a pole. These bad boys have held so much um, and it's a rig. They are stable. They are like, they're here. I just wanted to put that out there because I truly believe pole is for everyone. All different types of backgrounds. <laughs> and yeah. So usually tricks take up majority of the class, especially if it is like a mainstream tricks class. Static being like, you can't spin it. And then spin being the pole rotates. <laughs> I've talked to so many people and they didn't actually realize that the pole rotates, which is really, really funny because I can't imagine doing, there's a lot of like momentum you can get in static. Like there's a lot of, a lot of spin that you can get, but at the same time, like you've got to stop <laughs> eventually. You can't just keep, I mean, you technically could keep the momentum going, but at the same time, like spin is just so, so beautiful and like I wonder how they think I could do this <laughs> with, <laughs> with just static but yeah the pole spins I would genuinely recommend doing both and learning both from the get-go I didn't I did static which if you don't want to learn both I would probably sorry I'm panting <laughs> if you don't want to learn both that's fair enough if you get motion sickness, I understand. <laughs> I, I used to get so motion sick um, and I still do. Like it takes me, I have like time frames for all different types of motion, like roller coasters, airplanes, cars. I have like a time period where I have to adjust to the motion. Pole took me the longest time. And I know, like I said, I graded in three years. Start, like I hated spin. I hated spin from the get go. The only thing I really truly loved doing was a, what we call music box dancer, where it looks like a little ballerina. Did take me the longest time, because oh, I'd go home and I'd just feel so ill. But I'm glad that it all worked out because I absolutely love it. I think in terms of tricks, I would just, if I had to give a tip, it would be to focus on technique and to know you don't have to nail everything in the one class. Another tip, please ask your instructor. Don't be afraid to ask. Don't be afraid to have a conversation with them. They're there to help you. They're there to hold you if you really want to. There's a lot of cases where you do hold students if they need to. Faster, you start prioritizing being patient and focusing on technique. The quicker you are going to get through your levels. When I say quick, again, it's not a race, but at the same time, quick could mean, for me, three years. Quick could mean, for someone, eight years or one year. Like, it's all up to the type of person. We come from different backgrounds. We come from different generations. <laughs> we, we come from different lifestyles. Why would you even bother trying to compare someone else's journey when we are literally all different people? I guarantee in the class that you will go to, 
no individual person will ever have the same journey. Usually you will end up doing either a little dance. <sighs> I love that because I felt like as a dancer, I had to learn how to dance all over again because there's one thing how to dance by yourself, but with a pole, <laughs> it, it was a different world. So usually when, when you've done your tricks, you've done the dance section, if there is one, or you know, like a mini freestyle, you will do a cool down. I think a lot of cool downs are different. Some last five minutes, some take 10 minutes out of the last you know, chunk of the class to do just like, you know, the basic stretches to make sure, you know, for injury prevention, that type of thing. And also to have a chat. I have my notes like right there. <laughs> Trying to remember all the tips that I wanted to say. The less you wear, the better. I don't want to wear a long sleeve. You will slide down. I'm in pants right now. I'm not going to grip. <laughs> I'm not going to grip with clothing. Hydration is key. Oh, skincare. Post class. Make sure you tend to your hands. Make sure you have some nice hand cream, moisturizer. Don't moisturize before class. We know what moisturizer and oily, sweaty skin will do to a pole. I think I have given all the tips and tricks during the time that I was talking in this video. Oh. But yeah, I think that's all I wanted to talk about. I'm gonna end the video here. I will see you guys in the next video, which is the comp vlog. So yeah, I hope it goes well. <laughs> You'll find out in a week. So <laughs> fingers crossed, chookers to me. And yeah, peace. <laughs>